Clinton Millsap is earning his Master's of Fine Arts and Studio Art with an emphasis on painting and drawing. He currently teaches at the, his private art school, the Millsap School of Art in Houston, Texas. Clinton came to HBU to study under his under renowned artist and professor, Michael Collins. Clinton Millsap recently won honorable mention and first prize at the Assistance League of Houston Celebrates Texas Art 2020 Juried Art Show. Quite an accomplishment. Thank you, Clinton, for being with us today. Thanks for having me. So you, you, you've made your mark already, and you're just beginning. Yeah, I'm very blessed. Uh, there's a lot, there's a big emphasis in our master's program to enter into juried shows, to keep up with competition schedules and uh, join into uh, a network of um, show announcements. And uh, everyone is always very cognizant of making sure you've applied, making sure you know what's on the horizon. And that rigorous reminder of uh, that network of artists up there kept me on my toes and kept me applying. And that's how I won first place in honorable mention at the Assistance League of Houston show uh, was just pure, hey, you got to keep applying, you got to be on this. And, and that kind of uh, was the impetus to get me there. And it, it was awesome. Well, let me ask you this. I mean, what was it that drew you to the uh, art school at, at Houston Baptist University? Uh, MRC. <laughs> <laughs> I think I know what that means, but go ahead. Michael Roque Collins, buddy. That's what uh, did it. So uh, I had been courting a few master's programs, and uh, I came in, and I'm, a, I'm an old-fashioned person. I'm a handshake and uh, look you in the eye guy. That's how I am. And that was the biggest blessing I could have done was walking into the master's uh, building. And uh, the first person I met was uh, Kathy. And then the second person I met was uh, Carlos Canul. And uh, Carlos was like, you have to meet Michael. You have to meet Michael. And I was like, oh, there's this, is a, this guy, Michael. I have to meet him. And then I met Michael and it was just like, you know, the hair <laughs> blowing off of your head, the barn doors blow open and your mind and your, uh, your creativity and your heart kind of opened up and you're like, this is a guy I want to follow and uh, I want to be touched by. It's, it's insane, but it's so true. I mean, we've uh, all been touched by Michael Collins, but you have the privilege to study under him. What is it that's so unique about him? I mean, so many things, but what would you well, point to? As a as a fellow educator, uh, I am in complete admiration of his ability to always be on. And what I mean by that is, um, as an educator, you constantly are looking out at your students and you're trying to figure out, what do I need for that spark? What do I need to touch them to where I'm going to open them up and then they're going to flower, they're going to get better, or what I'm trying to get across is going to make sense. You know, how do I make it make sense to them? He walks around 24-7 with you on his mind, with what you need in his mind, with what you want, what you're trying to get to, who you are, what you are. And he'll just rapid fire these names. And at first you're kind of wishing you had a digital recorder to play back the <laughs> conversation because he blows your doors off and you're like, I need to remember everything he said, but there was so much. It's just so dense. Uh, that I actually, it's no, I'm not making this up. I started recording my conversations with him <laughs> to play, to play them back and Google these names that he's telling me about uh, influences I should be looking at. And it's amazing how on, on point he is uh, with the context of what you need, what you're looking for, what's on your canvas, what's on your paper. Um, and him in conjunction with Carlos, um, who read through, you, you go through this process of doing a journal about what you're working or what your, your problems are, what you're trying to make as far as art goes. And it's part of their job to get in tune with you and read this journal of your creation or your creative process. And through writing it out rather than acting it out, uh, they get to get into your mind as to how your creative process works. And that really unlocks a conduit between. Um, how you make what you make, why you've been making it, and how you want to become a different 
artist or you would like to create a different body of work that maybe is more intelligent or more relevant to who you are, what you're trying to say or show. But, but the combination of Michael and Carlos um, and Joel and Randall and um, Rachel kind of going through your mind by being able to see your journal, they have like this connection where they just kind of get right in there and they have these little firecrackers that they hand you and it really sparks um, you being more creative. And I'm such an admiration of specifically Michael's ability to constantly be on. Uh, I make this joke about him having an IV of Starbucks because he's just, you know, you, you've ever seen that speed walking grandpa in the mall and you're like, how does oh, that yeah. guy have that energy? This is like, he's, he's, he's I don't want to call him grandpa because he's got too much energy to be called a grandpa, but he is <laughs> constantly going like a speed walker, you know? Uh, I totally agree. I, the master of fine arts in studio art at Houston Baptist University is really known all over the nation. I mean, I think there's a lot of people that don't realize. No, just no. What it's, it, this, it's a hidden, it's, a, it's such a hidden gem. It's such a hidden gem and it's, it really is a treasure. And one of the things that I found out about coming to HBU and kind of coming in and courting it first, like I was looking at some other schools, I'm not gonna bother to say their name because now they don't matter, right? They didn't make <laughs> They didn't make it, so we're not going to talk about them. But when I came in and I met with Carlos and I met with Kathy and I met with Michael, because those are my first three conduits to HBU, it was so true and, and loving and not fake and full of fellowship that um, it, the, the word Baptist is in the university, right? Uh, no one's hitting you over the head with this religious – um, thing that you have to do or should do, but it is there. Right. It, it is, it is there. And there's a, when I say fellowship, I mean that there is a true fellowship between them that they are wanting to be a part of who you are and what you are. And that in turn makes your educational process completely different. Right. When, when you're not just that person grabbing some books and showing up for class and, and following the syllabus, when you're actually on a journey together and you know it's true because they're really invested in you, that is the difference. That's what makes this small MFA program huge. It makes it, it makes it huge. And it is known across the country by others in the art world, maybe not by everyone in Houston. How can it be that hidden gem with such dynamism inside it? I, I really, that has been something that I have tried to wrap my mind around because I, uh, I have a small little private art school and then I come into HBU, my business entrepreneurial spirit is like on fire and going, how do I get this information, you know, to the rooftop? You know, how do I wave this flag and say, well, why, why is there not more people beating the door down to get in uh, because it is such a dynamic place. And I, I think that the, the cities on the coast have this higher name value as far as um, art is. I think that coastal cities in like California and, you know, in, in, in New York, they kind of they have this automatic stigma of, you know, oh, those are the art coasts, right? And here we are, we're, the, we're this third coast, but um, per capita, per gallery, per millionaire, this is the art spot. I mean, there is so many dollars to be spent on, frankly, what we produce when we produce art. And in the end, we, we're going to have to sell this thing, this, this creation that we have to give away at some point in order to keep making more. And this place is such a dynamic place for that. Well, one, we're so di it's so culturally diverse. The campus is incredibly culturally diverse um, and so welcoming. Uh, I I would love to shout to the rooftops. And I've said I've I've told uh, Jamie this before. Like I will go <laughs> campaign. I will go become a recruiter. Just send me out and let me tell everyone, please. Let me. At some point, let me shake hands with them and, and let them know, look them in the eye and say, trust me, you're going to love it. 
you know, I, I want to do that, you know, because uh, I, I really, I'm very passionate about it. And I, I love uh, HBU for that. Well, and you know, we have a campaign going on right now called Just Can't Wait for Fall 2020. Just can't wait the number four for fall 2020. Nice. Because we're coming back this fall and uh, in person. And we're going to have classes and we're going to be teaching. And yes, we'll observe whatever proximity rules are necessary at that time. But HBU and its doors are wide open and lots of good things are going to happen this fall. And I know that means a lot to every single student, particularly in the Master of Fine Arts area, as well as all the other areas. Uh, I'd, like to, I'd like to say something, and I, and I, I hope that this... Um stays on your on your broadcast but uh i i at some point was this guy searching the internet looking at programs trying to figure out how i would fit this master's program into my professional uh career because i, I i'm i'm running a business and i and i'm working hours and i have the schedule but i so desperately know that i want this continuing education i want this mfa and i need it um to feel whole and I'm that guy on the couch searching and looking and clicking on these little videos and just trying to get a snippet of uh, reality or something that's true that's, that's not in the paragraph, that's not written already. And um, there was one on the MFA school, and when I, and when I saw his kind of, the guy's uh, uh, reaction, I think his name was Kingsley, um, I saw his reaction, or he kind of like laughed at one of the questions, and I could see the truth in his response and so i want to say to that person if you're watching this or you're listening to this i am telling you the truth they this school will connect with you it will it will matter and you will be successful uh in following your dream to get your master's of fine arts degree it will make a difference that means a lot clinton coming from you i mean you have your own private art school, the Millsap School of Art in Houston. Uh, you recently won the honorable mention and first prize at the Assistant League of Houston Celebrates Texas Art 2020 Juried Art Show. I mean, yeah. you are, but, go ahead. Well, thank you, but I didn't, I didn't win that show alone. Like, right. I, didn't, I didn't win that, right? That was, that was the fellowship, that was everyone. That was the cleaning ladies that kept my studio clean and, and took the stuff out of the trash can. That was the security guards letting me into the studio late night. And they will let you in. They will <laughs> unlock the door and let you in late at night. You call campus police. You can come and work whatever hours you want to work. That was the professors working around my work schedule and me coming and doing my, my, my gallery or my studio time with them, you know, when it fit my work schedule. That was the fellowship of the other artists that are in the program saying, hey, have you tried this? Hey, Clinton, what if you tweak this? Or what are you thinking about when you do this? I won that out of a color theory experimentation through fellowship with my professors and my students. So I didn't win that. We won that. And I think that's more important. Clinton, that is so well said. Uh, Houston Baptist University Master of Fine Arts is a dynamic program, and we want everyone to know about it. I want to give you just a few minutes to make an appeal to students. You know, <clears throat> during the COVID outbreak, there's a lot of people that are realizing, you know what, instead of working at a, the job I've been at, I want to move on and get my my master's degree. I want to I want to increase my career and move to a new level. I want to maybe for a while suck it up and work hard and work two or three jobs, whatever I need to do to move to the next level. And when I think about the Master of Fine Arts, when I think about Dr. Michael Collins and all of the, the entree, the cadre around him and how skilled they are, I just want to give you an opportunity to make an appeal to people that are checking out HBU why they should make that their school of choice. Oh, well, <laughs> yeah, there's so many, there's so many reasons, but I, I will tell you, uh, listener, viewer out there, um, there is no right time to jump in 
and do anything that's difficult. There is only to just jump in and do it. And that's what faith is, right? And so right now, with everything happening around you, the person that you can put faith in is yourself. And the fact that you know you want something different, you know that you need to attain something else so that your life is different. You are different. And uh, HBU is a place that can do that. The people that surround you at HBU will help you do that. It will help you make that journey. But all things are possible, right? There, but there is, there is nothing if there's no jump. So right. you have to jump. You have to say the time is now right? Everyone can walk away and say, this is, oh, there's so many things and a reason of why it's not, it's not, why it's not, it's not. Something is happening. You're here looking, you're here listening because something is telling you, I need to be looking. And you found it. Totally agree. Uh, Clinton Millsap is joining us today. And we're talking about Houston Baptist University, Master of Fine Arts. Um, just before we end, I want you to to just profile a little bit the entire teaching team there in the MFA. And, and you know, you talked about fellowship. The neat thing I appreciate about HBU is there's faith, but they don't cram it down your throat. Yeah, no, that's true. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> that, that There's no, you know what, and there's no one, there's no one cramming it down your throat. Like you said, there's no one hitting you over. There's no there's no Bible thumper walking around and just kind of hitting you with it and saying, Hey, we're a Baptist school. Listen to this. <laughs> That's not happening. But right. if you want to talk about your faith and you want to invite a conversation, a conversation about your faith, it's there. Um, you know, and, and I happen to be, you know, a pretty hardcore uh, prayer warrior. And I, I pray, I pray a little bit rough. You know, I don't say the, <laughs> I don't say the sweetest, kindest things when I pray, I, I speak the truth, but, but um, I, I just remember one conversation where uh, Michael was just giving us this, all these good words and these insightful things. And he's just, he's just spouting off all this wonderful art information. And, and he said, and he's talking to us about God's seed and, uh, and he's telling about the, the, the seed of creativity and, and, and he's just talking about it. And then he stops and he goes, or, or Allah or Buddha. Or whoever God fills up your heart and your life, and He just stops and He and He absolutely means it. And when He said and He says, "What whatever God is yours, whatever whatever love or, or light or heart that that means to you, plug that into what I'm saying." And I thought, now that that is leading, that is leading, because that conversation could have been very exclusive right and instead the truth of it it became very inclusive and i was just like and that and that's one of the moments where I, as a as a teacher also right i look i'm like going ah oh, dang it like i, I, I need to do that so i want to do that right you look back and you're like oh making notes on how i'm going to be a better professor <laughs> you yeah, know? exactly uh and and there and that's the realness of it and it took at and at first when I first showed up, one person, uh, Carlos, is so incredibly kind. I was like, "This is just the courting process. They're just trying to get me to enroll. No one can be this this nice all the time." Well, I was wrong. <laughs> He's just that nice all the time, and I'm like, "How does this happen?" You know, and uh, the but the whole cast of characters up there is kind and genuine. Um, Esther Delacroix, she's amazing. Um, Rachel Gardner, she's amazing. Uh, Joel is amazing. I don't want to say his, his last name wrong. I say it wrong all the time. He's got like this, his last name's like that long. <laughs> it's, 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 it's so long, but he's amazing, you know. And uh, Randall Mosman, he's he's awesome. And you know, Randall's uh, my sculpture professor, and he he came to me, and his art is so different from mine that I was like, how are we gonna have a connection? How is he gonna help me with my sculpture because his sculpture is so different than my sculpture? But that was actually the most beneficial thing ever because it was such a different perspective on what I was making and how I was making 
that it was almost enlightening to, to really try to understand how he thought about making and constructing an image and, and then actually what the image meant and getting the perspective from someone that was so different than me, uh, thinking so different, acting so different, speaking so different, that it really made uh, my sculptural work really just kind of take off and unlock something else. And, and that, that was crazy to me. Well, we've been listening to Clinton Millsap, and he is obviously one of the trophies of the Masters of Fine Arts at Houston Baptist University. And we celebrate, Clinton, the success that you're having, the success you're going to have in the future. We want to remind everybody there is a place for you at Houston Baptist University. Absolutely. And uh, you can call admissions at 281-649-3211. Any question, there'll be an answer. There'll be a caring person to help. hbu.edu, all your questions there, whether slash admissions slash grad. And um, Michael Collins is a peerless leader, and he, he is a unique individual and a gift to Houston Baptist University. And both Clinton and myself, as well as a whole train of other people, have been touched and impacted by the passion in his life. Clinton, thank you so much for joining us today. And um, we look forward to see what's going to happen through you and through the Millsap School of Art in Houston. Thank you. And what, one more time. Sure. We did it at HBU together. We, we have that success. So well said. Thank you, Clinton.